That's right. Today I'm getting lymph drainage cupping done. What is lymph drainage cupping, you ask? Is what leaves those marks on your body, those crazy marks. But it's also a form of gentle massage, basically like a, a reverse deep tissue massage, it sounds like. It gets the fluids in the lymph system going again, and the lymphatic system is what uh, clears out toxins from bodily tissue. I just learned all that today myself, but uh, I just saw The Rock got it done for the first time the other day, and I'm also getting a, a back facial with a hot stone paired with this as well. Dang, Matt, you're fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me explain. So the secret is it's at a beauty school. So Leah went here last week, got a facial and haircut, steep, steep discounted prices because... It's students that do it, but with a supervisor. So I saw that they did cupping, and I, I gotta try it out. I gotta see uh, see how it feels. Oh, my back! Just kidding. I'm, I'm just fine. It feels great. What a great experience, especially the back facial with the hot stones at the very end. Awesome feeling. Now, the cupping was a little bit different than I expected. I thought it was going to be the big suction cups that go all along your back and leave the big bruises, as I've seen before. But apparently, they can't or don't do that at the student school. So, uh, they just did a, a motion one where they twist it and move it along. So, it still does the same thing, um, and it doesn't actually leave the bruises. So, in one way... It's even better if you don't want the, the bruises on your back. It looks like this. Just one little battle wound right there. That's the only area that she said my skin was a little tight right there, so I marked it up just a touch. Not nearly as bad as the usual mark. Man, I can tell you it did work because... I feel pretty exhausted, actually. I'm pretty tired right now. So my thing to you is drink a lot of water uh, after you're done, get some rest. But I'm going to treat myself a little bit. You don't necessarily need to do this, and I don't actually recommend doing this, but I'm going to go get some Dunkaroos cereal. Here we go. All right, we made it. Now, this would not be my first choice normally for to go inside for a shopping experience. That's okay if it's yours, but we are at... Walmart because I guess this is where they have the goods. Let's go see. Honestly though, they're playing some jams. Okay, so I'm trying to track down something very specific right now. And I'll give you a little clue. That shot was for the frosting version of it. I am looking for the packed snack pack version of it. I'll keep you posted. Reunited and it feels so good. All right, bad news, good news, good news. They didn't have the Dunkaroo cereal like I was hoping for, but they did have this oatmeal cream pie cereal that I've been looking forward to trying as well. And then the other good news, they had the OG Dunkaroos packs with the frosting and the little cookies. So stay tuned for a full review on my channel of these bad boys soon. All right. Oh, and they also had the Dunkaroos frosting, but it looked like rainbow chip frosting. So I think it'd be pretty similar to that. So I didn't pick that up. Let's see how the cereal is though. Okay, so it's crispy oatmeal puffs with a cream coating. So not like inside the cereal, like the original oatmeal cream pies. And let's take a bite. Here it goes. Bring me back. Not bad. I kind of wish that they had little cream pieces, like the original cream that was inside the oatmeal cookies, like spread around in it instead of this coating, because the coating kind of wears off on top of the cereal. And then it just kind of tastes like any other cinnamon cereal. But I do like the puffiness of it. And at the very end, you get a hint of the original oatmeal cream pies. I wouldn't make a special trip back to Walmart for it, but I'm going to enjoy this box. Is that the Bella? Oh, are you so excited? Hi, Bella. 